Good day. I am Mum Bing. Welcome to my general mathematics class. Good day to all of you. So this is the continuation of the lesson for this week. So rational functions. So we have now the asymptotes. So asymptotes uh, is an asymptote is an imaginary line to which a graph gets closer and closer as the x or y increases or decreases its value without limit. So there are three kinds of asymptote. So we have the vertical asymptote, the horizontal asymptote, and the oblique or the slant asymptote. So yung asymptote is it is the line wherein the graph gets closer and closer but does not touch. So let's have first the vertical asymptote. So the vertical line x is equal to a is a vertical asymptote of a function f if the graph increases or decreases without bound as the x values approach a from the right or left. So this is the graph of the vertical asymptote. So this line, or the line in red, is the vertical asymptote. So this is the line where in the graph, this graph uh, gets closer and closer but does not touch. So in this example, uh, the vertical asymptote is at x is equal to negative 5. Now, what are the steps in finding the vertical asymptote? So the first step is to reduce the rational function to lowest term by canceling out the common factors in the numerator and denominator. Then step two is to find the value of a that will make the denominator of the reduced rational function equal to zero. Then the line x is equal to a is the vertical asymptote. Now let's find the vertical asymptote by answering the following example. Now let's have example number one. So we have the function f of x is equal to x minus one divided by x plus five. So let us find the zero of the function or the zeros of the, of the function. So the zero of the numerator is one. And the zero of the denominator is negative 5. So the vertical asymptote for this function, function f of x is equal to x minus 1 over x plus 5 is x is equal to negative 5. Now example number 2. So for the function f of x is equal to x plus 2 over x plus 1 multiplied by x minus 4. So we have to find for the zero. So the zero of the numerator is negative 2. And then the zeros of the denominator are negative 1 and 4. Therefore, the vertical asymptote for the function f of x is equal to x plus 2 divided by x plus 1 multiplied by x minus 4 are x is equal to negative 1 and x is equal to 4. Now, let's have example number 3. So, we have the function g of x is equal to 2x squared minus x plus 1 divided by x squared minus 6x plus 9. So, we have to uh, reduce it to simplest form since the function is in quadratic form. So, the simplest form of this function is uh, the function g of x is equal to 2 x plus 1 multiplied by x minus 1 divided by x minus 3 multiplied by x minus 2. So the zeros of the numerator are negative 1 half and 1. And the zeros of the denominator are 3 and 2. So the vertical asymptote for this function are x is equal to 2. And x is equal to 3.
Now, for the horizontal asymptote, so the horizontal line y is equal to b is a horizontal asymptote of the function f if f of x gets closer to b as x increases or decreases without bound. So, in this uh, graph, you will see the horizontal asymptote. Okay, the line, the red line is the horizontal asymptote and it is y is equal to 1. So, in this example, y is equal to 1 and that is the horizontal asymptote. Now, the steps in finding the horizontal asymptote is as follows. So, to determine the horizontal asymptote of a rational function, we compare the degree of the numerator n and the degree of the denominator d. Meaning, iko compare natin yung exponent ng numerator and the denominator. So, yung highest exponent or yung highest power ng numerator and denominator. Okay, now, if the degree of the numerator n is less than the degree of the denominator d, the horizontal asymptote is y is equal to 0. So, it is automatic that the horizontal asymptote is y is equal to 0. So, wala ng computation. Basta ang degree ng numerator is less than the degree of the denominator, y is equal to 0. Or that is the horizontal asymptote. Now, if the degree of the numerator is equal to the degree of the denominator, the horizontal asymptote y is the ratio of the leading coefficient of the numerator a to the leading coefficient of the denominator b. So that is y is equal to a over b. So yung numerical coefficient ng leading o yung uh, leading coefficient ng numerator is divided by the leading coefficient of the denominator, meaning yung number before the, the letter. Yun. So, yun yung coefficient. Now, if n or in degree of the numerator is greater than the degree of the denominator, there is no horizontal asymptote. Instead, the function will have an oblique or slant asymptote. Okay, so let us find the horizontal asymptote by answering the following example. So, we have the function f of x is equal to 3x plus 8 over x squared plus 1. So, the degree of the numerator 3x plus 8 is less than the degree of the denominator x squared plus 1 or n is less than d. Therefore, the horizontal asymptote is y is equal to 0. So, no more computation, automatic. Since uh, the degree of numerator is less than the degree of the denominator, the horizontal asymptote is y is equal to 0. Okay? Okay, example number two. So, we have the function f of x is equal to 3 plus 8x squared over x squared plus 1. So, the degree of the numerator, 3 plus 8x squared, and that of the denominator, x squared plus 1, are equal. Or, in other words, n is equal to d. So, therefore, the horizontal asymptote y is equal to the ratio of the leading coefficient of the numerator, which is 8, to the leading coefficient of the denominator, which is 1. That is why y is equal to 8 over 1, or y is equal to 8. And that is the horizontal asymptote of the function. Now, let's have... Example number 3, so we have the function g of x is equal to 8x cubed minus 1 over 1 minus x squared. So the degree of the numerator 
8x cubed minus 1 is greater than the degree of denomin the denominator 1 minus x squared or n is greater than d. So therefore, there is no horizontal asymptote. So we will have now an slant or oblique asymptote. So, paano natin makukuha si slant or oblique asymptote? So, an oblique asymptote is a line that is neither vertical nor horizontal. It occurs when the numerator of f of x or the function of x has a degree that is 1 higher than the degree of the denominator. So, in this graph, you will see the vertical asymptote is this and the oblique asymptote is the one which is slanting. Okay. Now, in finding the oblique or slant, slant asymptote, we have to simply divide the numerator by the denominator by either long division or synthetic division. The oblique asymptote is the quotient with the remainder ignored and set equal to y. So let's find the oblique or slant asymptote by answering this example. So consider the function h of x is equal to x squared plus 3 over x minus 1 to determine the asymptote. So, you, you may notice that the degree of the numerator is greater than the degree of the denominator. So, by looking at the function, uh, h of x is undefined at x is equal to 1 kasi magiging 0 si denominator. So, the vertical asymptote of h of x is the line x is equal to 1. Now, there is no horizontal asymptote since the degree of the numerator is greater than the degree of the denominator or n is greater than d. So, we have a slant uh, or oblique denominator. So, if the numerator and the denominator of the function h of x are divided. So, we get this quotient. So, we have h of x or function of h of x is equal to x squared plus 3 over x minus 1. So, we have this. So, by long division, so pag nag-divide tayo, ito yung lalabas na sagot. So, we have x plus 1 remainder for over x minus 1. So, the quotient is x plus 1 remainder 4 over x minus 1. So, we are going to disregard the remainder. So, we are going to adapt the x plus 1. So, the line y is equal to x plus 1 will be the oblique asymptote of the function h of x is equal to x squared plus 3 over x minus 1. For the graph, so the vertical asymptote of h of x is the line x is equal to 1. So this is the vertical asymptote. So the blue uh, dotted line is the vertical asymptote. And then the oblique asymptote is at y is equal to x plus 1. And that is the line which is slanting Yan yung oblique asymptote. Okay, we have the last example for the topic of asymptote. So we have given the rational function of f of x is equal to 2x plus 6 over x minus 3. Answer the following question. So question number 1, what are the two functions used to form the rational function? So ano ba yung ginamit nating function? To form the rational function. So we have 2x plus 6 for the numerator and then we have x minus 3 for the denominator. So those are the two functions that we use 
to form this rational function. Okay, now, question number two. What is the x-intercept of the function? And which function did you use to determine the x-intercept and y? Okay, so to determine the x-intercept of the function, we use the numerator and then we equate the numerator to zero to solve for the value of x. And then we got the answer, x-intercept is, e is x is equal to negative 3 or it is at negative 3 and 0. Now, for question number 3, what is the y-intercept of the function and how did you get the y-intercept? So, we simply uh, substitute 0 to the value of x. So, we have f of 0 is equal to 2 multiplied by 0 plus 6 divided by 0 minus 3. Then, simplify. So, we have 6 divided by negative 3. So, we have f of 0 is equal to negative 2. Therefore, therefore y-intercept is y is equal to negative 2 or 0 and negative 2. Okay, for number 4, what is the 0 of the function? And what is the vertical and the horizontal asymptotes? So the 0 of the function is at x is equal to negative 3. And then the vertical asymptote is at x is equal to 3. And then the horizontal asymptote is y is equal to 2 since our function has uh, equal degree. So, your numerator and then the denominator has equal degree. Therefore, we are going to divide 2 by 1 and then we got the answer y is equal to 2. That would be all for the topic of asymptotes. Thank you and God bless.